This is the future. This is the future. Welcome back to my channel, Cryptzonians. And this was one wicked, wicked week that I had that just passed. I was working eight shifts consecutively, which really, really drained me and made me very, very tired. Um, so I was working four day shifts and four night shifts. And on those night shifts, I even had to do stuff at the house. So um, what did I do this last week? There's a reason why my fire marshal video and everything is late. And that is because on Sunday, I had to service the wife's car, while at the same time testing a new technique to use on the BMW. Now, as you guys may or may not know yet, the BMW's head gasket is definitely blown. I have to strip the head off the BM and I need a space to work at where it will be out of the way and not be a bother to anyone and can stand for as long as it needs to stand. But I also need to get underneath the car. The BMs and so on is very low and I don't really have a, a jack or stance that's going to work because of the uh, jack points that's missing on the car and so on and so forth. So I also need to do a major service on the BM. It's about 600 k's over its service. So I need to do the service and everything, so um, I'll show you what I tried, or the technique that I used. I guess you guys can already see where this is going. So I reversed the opal up. Now we're going to go a little bit forward, and then I'm gonna set the ramps. And we'll see if we can get the car up the ramps, get some clearance space, and also keep the car level. This might just work very, very nicely. As you guys can see, it's a bit high. It's not really level. So I can actually move the, the ramps a bit more forward to see if I can drop the nose a little bit. This will be the idea for the beamer, to get the beamer on ramps. It's out of the way of anyone. You can still park there. The car is not gonna be in anyone's way and it can stand there and I can strip it to my heart's content. If you guys ever wanted to know how level is level, well, that's the closest I can get it. But that's pretty damn close. If I lifted the tip, <laughs> man, I'm telling you, just a little bit more, it would have been perfect. So if I tell you the car's level, it's level. Then, at the same time, I have to make space in the garage to pack all my spares. Because once I start stripping the BM, I need to put them where it's safe where I can lock it up and I know the kids won't go and mess around with any of the equipment or mess around with the, the spares or components or anything because once they take something or move something I'm going to be screwed. So I need to put it somewhere where I can lock it up and I can know it's, it's, it's safe. So to do that I had to move back into my old study. So I'm in back in the house, I'm in the, the room and all the crap that is in here that's supposed to go to the tool shed, which I still haven't built yet, had to go back to the garage. But now remember, I cannot cover it up, or I cannot pack everything in the entire garage because I still need to have space for my videos that I'm shooting. Because I've just completed fitting my new green screen in the garage. So that's the only place where I can do my actual videos. And then I will sit here in the study and I'll do the editing and uploading from here. So let me guys show you as well, what did I use for a green screen? I got an old curtain railing that I hooked onto two hooks, which I turned into the ceiling. And then I went and bought myself a green curtain. Exactly the same width that I need, same of correct length, correct shade. All I need to do now is just iron out the wrinkles. And voila. Well, it took some doing. But I've got my recording space. Um, this I can all move out of the way because it's movable. Uh, busy with the washing at the moment. So I can stand there somewhere. And I can stand in front of my green screen. And it's not in the way of anything really. And it's working perfectly. And uh, yeah, that's the garage. 
So as you guys can see, this has been a busy week. I fixed my, or I got myself a green screen, which is now up and running. I figured out how I'm going to service the BM. I moved from the study to the garage and back. Plus I had to do any other chores around the house, like cleaning, washing, dishing, water, water, water. So that's what I've been busy with for the last eight days. So I promise you, tomorrow is fire marshal day. So I'm just going to shoot video tomorrow and edit it and upload it. That's all I have planned for tomorrow. Nothing more, nothing less, because I'll be back at work come Thursday. So I only have tomorrow. Anyway, guys, thanks for this uh, for watching this video. It's like a quick update, just a quick overview of what I'm uh, what I was busy doing. And if you guys want to go check out my new podcast, it's out now. Um, you can either go to the Facebook group or you can go onto my website and go to the anchor page from there. Anyway, guys. Oh, and I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think should I do as a celebration for reaching 500 subscribers? I'm very close. I'm like less than 10 people away from reaching 500. So what would you suggest do I do as a celebration? Because this is a major milestone for me. It's a celebration point for me, reaching 500 subscribers. Only 500 more and then I can start making moolah. So if you have any ideas, drop me a comment down below. And uh, yeah, until next time guys. Cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers